Hello everybody, this is Pally welcoming you back to Total War Warhammer 2. We'll be continuing my game as Techlist today, so let's get that loaded up. Uh, today, unfortunately, will not be much longer, or really any longer, of a session than yesterday, as I had to work a bit late today, later, later than I was expecting, so... I'm getting a late start here and don't have a huge amount of time, so I think I've got about an hour that I can dedicate to this, so we should at least make some progress in the campaign today. <sighs> Alright, so where are we? So we've conquered Sentinels of Zeti, the settlement in the Forbidden Jungle. Uh, we still have the Sentinels of Zeti faction to the south of us at the Golden Colossus which is just a uh, minor settlement. I'm tempted to come down here and raise that. Just get rid of it. Meanwhile, to the west, we do have some problems. Now, our plan long-term is definitely move this rally field over to one of the secondary settlements. But... <sighs> the problem is... We would be potentially getting rid of this one while we do that. Ugh. Even then, this still isn't... Even plus five isn't quite enough to overcome just the basic penalty from taxes and difficulty level. So, I don't know. We might need to recruit someone to kind of hang out here and cover for us. I don't know. We'll try and figure that out. We are getting rid of the grazing meadows. Which maybe I shouldn't. Actually, this this army could use a unit of cavalry. Hmm. So the archers are almost as good as the reavers in terms of melee combat. They just have a slightly weaker charge. Hmm. That means against anyone who catches them, pretty much the same fight. And we could definitely use somebody for flanking. But I'd rather it be normal Reavers, and honestly, I, I kind of feel like we can't afford it right now. The Witch King. So they'll have, what do we have here? Seven. Noble of Plus six, so 13 units. By the gods. So we would have a good chance of coming up and conquering the Chamber of Visions. Though that would put us at war with, uh, who are these guys? The Blood Hall Speak Coven? quickly and you may escape with your life. Yeah. It's an option. A very tempting one, to be perfectly honest. But, uh... Clearly not something we can start working towards this turn, or even next turn. We need to get this... the Turtle Isles under control. That will be our immediate goal. <clears throat> Ensure that an elven colony has been constructed. We did that! Good! Now we need to destroy the Sentinels of Zeti. All they have left is the Golden Colossus. They have a good-sized army here. They're recruiting more. We will wait. Alright. Next turn, we will bust our ass to get us over to the west. And so, do we have anything special we can build here? We have Shrine of Azurian and Dragon's Lair. 
So those are some nice specialty buildings we can only build here, as well as... Nope, we can build that in anywhere. Special walls for the, for the castle. Alright! So we do have some specialty buildings we can only build here. The forge... No, that can be built elsewhere, but the archive can only be built here. And that is really tempting. Yeah, in fact, tempting enough, that's what we are going to do. Okay, and that's all we are going to do this turn, I think. Actually, no, we will keep moving Teclis a little farther to the west. This settlement can wait a little bit before we send anyone to go back to it. Public order here is not as serious a problem as it is here. Oh, except that Bokui is coming for a fight. Good. If we can take him out here, we can move south, wipe them out. I will take a lack of income over here for a little bit, just for that. Teclis. All right, we are cutting him off. And you know what? Let's have some fun here. We can use some more. Reavers! I don't know. Alright, fine. Reaver archers. One unit, that's all. And then we will cut tax income from the Great Turtle Islands. How dare you seek me out? Ha! You're funny. You come in seek it, trying to attack me and then ask for peace. Not happening. Uh, yeah, we will fight. Let's do this. So we have lots of spears with shields, some warriors with shields, and spears. Just lots of melee infantry. Okay! Our own spears will have to hold against them, and I think they'll be able to. Bring it, Bokui. We are ready for you. Eh, that's a good starting amount of Winds of Magic. They have the high ground. But they are also attacking, which means they will be coming to us. So, let's start out far back here. Give ourselves the high ground, in a way. And... Spears, and great swords. There we go. We are defended from above. Yes, yes, yes. Of course you are. The skies are defended. You're just... You're, you're great. You're great. Alright. Start battle. Come on, lizards! Whoa! Hold on, forgot about these guys. God damn. Uh, sorry. It was a friend's birthday today. And I had a couple of drinks after work in celebration. So, you guys are going to have to deal with the consequences of that. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't be so obvious this quickly, but... Such is life. Alright, Cigar got back in time, we're good. We are good. Chain Lightning, that's your range. Okay. Come on, lizards! Bokui himself. We fought him before. Oh, his eyes have like lightning coming out of him. That's cool. Come on, lizards, bring it.
Okay, they're almost to us. Pull back a bit. Let's take a look at ourselves. Archers! It shall be done. Archers! It shall be done. They have shields, but they're still taking damage, of course. Where is the one without shields? May as well focus on that and kill it. Turn off skirmish mode. Alright. Yep. They are not going to last long. And as soon as we can, we will target Bokui himself. Spears are badly hurt. Target the mage priest. Meanwhile, you guys come over here. You guys come over here. And... Techless drop some chain lightning right in here. Yes! Yep. You... Oh! Damn, he died fast! Man, we are annihilating these fools. Spears! Seaguard, yep, hit those guys. You guys help against them. The Phoenix is fighting them, but I don't like that. No, no, no! Hit them. You attack. You move forward. Techless. More chain lightning. Yeah. Mess them up. Well, it's moving on too quickly. On, on to our guys! Great! Well, it's working out, though. Kind of moving to the enemy again. Well, I'm okay with how that worked. Alright, we got this. You men, push forward! You help kill them. Oh, this group of spears needs to fall back. They are getting annihilated. Alright, that group shattered. They're running. Okay. Whew. These guys are not in good shape. Alright, well, still, kill whoever you can. Come on, guys, get out there. Attack! Oh, they're just routing. Damn. Our own chain lightning messed us up a fair bit there. Kill whoever you can. You know, you know, I actually will let the auto calculation handle that. It always gives us more kills than our our. <laughs> Sorry, more kills than our listed here. So, hey, okay. at least a few more each unit. Fair enough. Close victory, and we stole a standard of discipline. Hmm. Ransom executes forced labor. Tempting. Very tempting. Let's execute. Behold. Oh! Yeah. He's trying to head home, but we will intercept him and wipe him out. Very good. 
Right, unlocked. Invocation of Asurian. The creator greatest among all Mandela. Ah, blah. Or, upon the Mandala. <laughs> Mandela. Nope. <laughs> no Nelson Mandela here. Just the Mandala. Uh, this right is now available. Okay. Because I hit level 5. Okay. Techless. Let's go with... Hmm. I would love to give him lightning strike at some point or another. I also would love to give him flames of the phoenix. Let's go with net of Amitak. Amentak. A tale of treachery, an exquisitely penned history of the Phoenix Lord Belshinar has become widely popular. This artful blending of poetry and prose has caught the imagination of the people and has awakened within them a fresh hatred for Malekith and the foul betrayals of the Druki, Druchii, whatever. As a result, leadership and melee attack capabilities when facing Dark Elves have risen faction-wide. Nice! Very nice. I wonder how long that will last. Five turns? Cool. Alright, let's wipe out the rest of uh, this Hell army. Steady hand is needed. Fight battle! Against Uria. Ura Ara. Ara Ra 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 <laughs> Alright, we will keep this diminished unit of spearmen in the back as reinforcements. I doubt we will need them. Uh, hmm. I do not really like this start situation. Uh, we'll set up back here, I think. Okay. Come on. You got. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Not you. You are on your own. Good. That will do. Techless. Right there. Weaver Archers right there. And Phoenix right there. Is that everybody? Oh, not you guys. You come back here. Okay! Come on, bad guys. You're gonna come to us. You know it. Because I outrange you. So here is Ura Ara. Man, I missed... I never really appreciated the camera mod for Warhammer 1 until now. Normally I'd be able, I'm just so used to being able to s scroll down a bit closer to the ground and get right in his face here, but yeah, can't do it with the Warhammer 2 camera. Shame. Come on, bad guys, move up. Hard to say that they are truly the bad guys and I am the good guys. You know, these kinds of things, they get complicated. That Vamon talk is just wonderful. Really is. One of the most powerful spells in the game. It just locked down half the enemy army. Love it. Alright, so archers, go be annoying. There we go. Like I said, be annoying. That's not who I said to shoot. There we go. Techless! Chain lightning right in the center here. This will be beautiful. Yes! Rip them apart! 
Oh, nice. Moving right back into this unit, too. Love it. Meanwhile, up here, what do we got? Fighting. My spears. Engage. Phoenix, come around. Checklist. Keep them locked in position. Toss the fireball in the center here. Did I kill some elves in the process there? It's hard to say. I don't think so. But that's the kind of thing you need a replay camera for. Alright. Phoenix, come help with the dude. Oh, you guys come over here. You come over here. Yes! Phoenix just knocks him on the ground. Alright. <laughs> Throws some of our own men. Spears get in there. Archers are hitting them. Very good. Oh, is he running? Where are you? Oh, he's right there and about to die. Come on, Phoenix, just take him out. Or archers, you do it. <laughs> Fair enough. Understood. Oh yeah. Kill them all. Loyal. You just go run them down. You'll be okay at that. In fact, you'll be great at that. Slaughter the enemy! Kill as many as we can. They are almost at the... Almost... Oh! There it is. But still, they're almost at the edge of the map! Kill them all! Just about done. Having a cavalry, a single cavalry unit makes all the difference in terms of the post battle mop up. <laughs> so many kills can be gotten for it. Come on, guys. Hit them. There's more than two of them in the unit. A unit with only two guys left probably still counts as destroyed. For the most part. This is good enough. I'm tired of doing this. Man. 20 to 1 losses. I foresaw this victory. Kill them. Enslave them. Restrain the captives. It's not usually my preference, but I think we will this Enslave time go them. with forced labor. Power Clan Buster! We have achieved victory over Lizardmen multiple times. Plus five when fighting against Lizardmen. Ara Ara has perished. We have gained an obsidian trinket. Very nice. Master of the White Tower. Teclis moves south. 
Yeah, just the one cavalry unit is enough. We are Ill at ease. And cut taxes. We can handle this for a little while. I want to take the, or raise, not take, but raise the Golden Colossus. And then we will come back north. Main reason I am not looking to take it is because it is unsuitable climate for us. And I'd rather not have to deal with that crap. Aha! Light cavalry barding. Let's go for that. Get the basics. And of course, Teclas needs to be leveled up after his victory. Let's go... Regrowth. Alright, we constructed one of these, very good. Now we need to recruit a hero and perform the invocation of Isha. The war crown is seldom seen outside the walls of the White Tower. Even Teclis himself wears it only in times of great need, so he sets off to Lustria without it. However, it quickly becomes apparent that circumstances are direr than even the High Lore Master realized, and so he sends for the crown. A pair of great eagles are dispatched from Safari with the with the crown securely held. I'm guessing there's a within there missing, held within their claws. An epic journey follows, crossing the great ocean and then the continent itself. Perhaps it was inevitable on a flight that long that the eagles would not reach Teclis. Something has gone wrong! The crown and its winged escort are lost. An artifact of such power and reverence cannot be allowed to simply vanish. Teclis knows of a ritual of Isha that should be invoked, for a mother always knows where her children lie, and the war crown is of Isha's making. So we've unlocked the invocation of Hoeth. Alright, so we can actually do any of these rites now. Hmm. I'm thinking Invocation of Azurian. That public order plus four all provinces, that'll be helpful. Meanwhile, the are troubled. Uh, of course the they are. Lustria have forsaken them. Meanwhile, so let's hit the Golden Colossus. Power. Now is not the time. Rohija and the settlement garrison. Time. We have some javelins, some spear cavalry, and basic warriors. Chameleon Skinks. Hold on, I want it. Hidden in any terrain, exceptionally hard to target with missiles. Cool. Battle calls me. Let's see how this goes. I'm sure we'll be fine. We massively outgun them. All right, start deployment. We have plenty of magic to use. I am loving the battle maps. I really am. They have a lot more sense of location and character than the first games. Really enjoying them. This is beautiful. This feels like we are fighting in a specific place. I love it. All right, so... Archers, spears, and greatsword. 
Okay. You dudes. Sea guard, sea guard. Illyrian archers. Archers. Oh, I can't. You do a vanguard deployment perfectly. Or, er, perfect. Derp. Sorry, like I said, I've had a couple of drinks. Friend's birthday. Wasn't expecting it. So, <laughs> and let's we actually we'll put the. The Phoenix over here. Bring it back, guys. Let's do this. It shall be done. Acknowledge. No, no, no. Those are your target. Get that ranged unit before it can even do anything. They do still have shields, but not a lot of health, so it looks like we're cutting through them nicely. Okay, so far so good. Let's back them all up a little bit. I want them to have a better firing arc. Just put it that way, I guess. I also don't want them feeling like they need to retreat anytime soon either. These guys are in good spots. Let's do some damage. Take out the generals. Alright, he's in the fight. Others are not. Hit those javelins. Spears! Seaguard are fighting the Spear Riders. Go for them, guys! No, no, no. You archers, hit those Spear Riders. I want them dead. Okay, you're taking damage from friendly fire here. Get out of there. Oh, no, you're taking damage from those assholes. Either way, get out of there. Good, good. Still winning very nicely here. I'm not even using magic! You hit him. You hit him. Oh, and we won anyways. Don't even need to hit anyone specific. And this is a garrison, so we don't even need to kill them all. Perfect. Hmm. So, question is, do we destroy the place? <sighs> Sacking it is very tempting. So is just raising it. I say we sack it, fall back, then raise it. Banner of swiftness. All right. There is no limit to my power. Moving on. All right. Back in friendly territory, replenishing. Very good. Techless. Hmm. Let's go the sword of ruin. As I expected. And upgrade the port. We can use the money. Meanwhile, I think now is the time to get rid of the rally field. Build up the mud aisles a little. Once we get a uh, new plaza up at Grey Turtle Isle, we will put, start building a barracks here instead. Get rid of that plaza. That is the plan. 
And of course, next turn we go raise the golden compass because why not? Hello, dark elves. And mine. I thought that was gonna happen. Speak if you must. Yeah, you're trying to buy peace. I know. Mm, nope, not gonna happen then. I'm just gonna wipe you out. Techless, finish them. Is this even worth fighting? I don't really feel like it is. Um, I'm gonna swap that over to the Phoenix. Now is not the time. And just auto resolve. Yeah, there's no reason to actually fight that battle. Raise it. Goodbye, Kudakatan. Is it just me, or does Victory that name sound sword. very Jem'Hadar? Oh, I got an achievement. Reduced to Ashes. Raise the settlement. We got another standard of discipline, and we have destroyed the Sentinels of Zeti. Excellent. Of Head north next turn. Turn a while! So, we need to see... Untainted? No, that's not a problem. We aren't dealing with corruption here. Yeah, I guess just a plaza. That's our best for public order. So, once you get it to level 4 and 5, it's a huge difference. But the early level's very weak. Very interesting to me. Nah. Nah. You can go a, le a turn without any uh, taxes here. I think we're good. Yeah. Construction time, 100%. Ugh. All right, Teclis, let's move you north. Off I go. Wisdom leads me. And to the west, how are things? Now we can get rid of this. We'll take the income now. Sick of losing money. Meanwhile, rights... Nope. Intrigue! Bloodhall Coven. Citadel Dusk. Eh, they don't really care. Who is on the other side of them? Because this is something I want to get used to using early on, but... Hard to say. Yeah. I have no idea who is back there. Ooh, hello, gems. Make your proposal. My long beards grumble, so make it quick. All right, yeah, let's uh go for non-aggression pact. God damn it, dwarves! Assholes. I mean, yeah, you are dwarves, so that kind of goes with the territory. But still. Of course, someone's going for that settlement. Like cavalry barding, very good. Tech! Advancements to... Well, that's what we're going for next. Meanwhile... You must colonnade! And back to a militia camp. Cool! Ready. Techless. So. Can't make it this turn. Onward. Get you closer. You should be able to next turn. Let's get you one more unit of archers. Or, well, horse archers, that is. The Asa bid you welcome. Okay. Next turn, we will attack our, our dark cousins at the Chamber of Visions. I think we got this. 
children of Ah, the court of many kings. Every realm of Ulthuan sends nobles and representatives to the court of Lothurn. Every realm is a kingdom in itself, and their leaders kings. They approach Lothurn with such a mentality. How the Phoenix King treats the, these egos is vital to the development and stability of all Ulthuan. Hmm. So? Essentially, spend money for influence. Spend influence for public order. Or spend influence for public relation or er, diplo relations with the Citadel of Dusk Dark Elves. Uh, I think we're gonna go with throw a lavish ball in there, Honor. I want the influence. Yeah, I'm happy with that. My infinite knowledge is yours. So, the Chamber of Visions, I think it is time for us to attack that. Wisdom awaits. Hatred will consume the true king. They declared war on us. Their problem, not ours. Alright, so we have Weroa, Weroa, Sword Infantry. Alright. See, Dual Sword Infantry, Anti-Infantry, okay. Good to know. Swords, Spear, Spear, Handbows, Black Arc Corsairs. Dark Shards have Shields, that's an issue. Dark Riders... Corsairs, and a Death Hag, anti-infantry with Frenzy. Alright, well, we'll just have to keep an eye on them. Standard of discipline goes to you. The gods have spoken. I think we're ready for this. Battle game! That's what this is called. The battle game. And we have this tiny little approach to fight over. I guess that I maybe is crossable. Hard to say. So we have here and here to approach. Very interesting. I like it. Alright, Reaver Archers, you can start up here. Be ready for a fight. Right up, right off the bat. Meanwhile, the rest of you, archers. Let's get just a line set up. You guys know the deal. That we've done it before. We do it again. Okay. Good enough. You over here. You over here. Let's spread these guys out a little bit. And Teclis himself. Alright. Oh, they're coming to us. Okay, well, group two. Let's move you up a little bit then. Maybe not quite that far. But uh, yeah, move you up. You guys stay in skirmish mode. This group of archers get out of it. Uh-uh. Back up. You're gonna lose that duel. Never have your missile cavalry trade against missile infantry. It does not go well. Hit. Yeah, if you want to follow my missile cavalry into the range of my missile infantry, that's a mistake you will not survive. Alright. Dark Elves riding against us. Alright, fine. You guys, get out there. Spears! There we go. This is a mistake, Dark Elves. Alright. Meanwhile, I am just playing too much. You? No, no. Stop skirmishing. We 
You guys over there. Phoenix over there. Spears fell back. Alright, you guys. Let's move you up here. You target the Weraora. You help. You and you trade fire with that group of dark shards. You and you trade fire with that group of dark shards. You come attack their general as well. And Teclas himself. Lock him in. And let's drop some chain lightning on this group of Corsairs with handbows. Yeah, you like that. Oh my god, that's eating them alive. Uh, that's a group annihilated. You guys, bonus your attacks. My guys, you're good. Attack. Move forward and keep up the attack. Oh, Death Egg, you have uh, pushed through to the archers here. I don't like that. Oh. Right, I forgot to give these guys a guard command, didn't I? My mistake! Uh, not going as well as I'd like. You fall back. Archers! Spears, attack! There you go. Take out that death hag. What does she look like? Not quite like the uh, Death Hag I'm picturing out of Witcher 3, but hey, fair enough. They're flanking us. Come on, guys, take that one out. He will obey. He will obey. You got this, dudes. Them, and you help out too. Where Aura is just dancing with the Phoenix. Yeah. Let's get the Phoenix out of there. Hit that group. I'll give it to her. She can move. And that's a win for us. I'd rather not keep killing my own men, so we're just going to end this battle here. That went well. First battle against the Dark Elves. Now, of course, we had overwhelming numbers. It's not like we really outplayed them As there all that much. I like that we get a good amount of loot from battles. I really do. Victory has its pearls. I'm thinking we just occupy. Behold my power. We're Aura killed in battle. We have captured the settlement, gained some money, influence way fragments, blah blah. Now we need to build an ancient waystone. Province secured the Forbidden Jungle. Excellent. Let's go with Rebuild Lost Splendor. I want to get uh, buildings up nice and quickly. So this is another situation where we are going to get rid of this recruitment building here. Start building one over here. Meanwhile, we have Landmark to build. Ancient Waystone or Chamber of Vision. Well, I'm thinking we're going to be building both here. So, Waystone. Not high enough level, and there's a resource, medicinal plants. Okay, the Chamber of Vision settlement is going to be purely a moneymaker, I guess. We'll have to be a little careful with it. Or, not necessarily just money, but a resource builder maker, but we'll have to be careful with it. That means it's going to be a bit vulnerable. Golden Ziggurat Meadows. Let's go. Rally Field. Upgrade the harbor. And what do we got here? Hey, look at that. A clay pit. We can get uh, some pottery out. 
Good for us. Other than that, I don't know that there's much for us to do this turn. Teclas has to level up, of course. Potion of Charoy. Hmm. Word of Hoeth or Word, Word of Loeth. Potion of Charoy is tempting, I have to admit. But I'm also really tempted to just grab Enfeebling Foe so that we can get Flames of the Phoenix next. And then start working on, on another tree. Hmm. Makes it tough. Well, since this affects all characters, this is one of those ones where it's like, yeah, of course we're getting that. So sublime focus it is. My infinite knowledge is yours. My time and temper are short. Peace treaty, and you will pay me for it. Two thousand too much. How about sixteen? Thousand. No, you're gonna pay me for it. Nine hundred. Six hundred. Eight hundred. As you said. There we go. Mostly because I don't feel ready to go conquer the Dragon Isles in the north here. Pillars of Unseen Constellation. Very interesting. Yeah, I'd rather kind of grab a uh, Chiquibol here, even if it's not good for us climate-wise. It's, it's okay. Unpleasant, but not, not horrible. But I want those gems. Meanwhile, I also want to get a new lord out so we can check out the remnants of this battle and uh, the fell cargo here. It's always something we want to do, you know? But, uh, so... Low influence guys, or the no influence guys we don't want at all. The low influence guys, decent. Very decent. But I'm really tempted to wait for a, a 60 influence lord. And have that be, uh, like, a, a great lord be the first major expenditure of influence we drop, you know? Oh, god. Hmm. Minus 30% upkeep for chariots and bolt throwers. Just great with uh, mechanical units. It looks like, but this this is tempting too. Two fun, two hundred fifty experience a turn. You get a high level army with that guy very quickly. All right, we're gonna wait. We don't need to wait that long. It looks like, but uh, we will wait. Meanwhile, rights can't do anymore. If not this turn, anyways. Yes, Research right, derp. Let's go with precise fletching. Yeah, I don't want to be running out of ammo. Hmm. They're happy with us because I signed a treaty. Is that it? No, that's the Blood Hall Coven. Why am I in good relations with the Citadel of Dusk? I have a treaty with them? Hold on a second. Let's check out our diplomacy. Oh, Citadel of Dusk is High Elves. I was thinking they were Dark Elves. I am so good at this game. So aware of what's going on here. Aren't you just in awe of that? Let's end the turn, move things on, see what happens next. I honestly can't say for sure that we're going to have another good battle here, but try. 
Who is this? Obside. What faction? Looks like lizards, but could be ratmen. Ratmen. Clan Scry. Wisdom awaits. Three turns to get the chicken ball. Well, we could go check out Hualada. Thinking we need a plaza here as well. You always need a plaza. Keep public order good. Oh, that's not good at all. Require assistance. Hmm. Minus seven that way. Inspecting the garrison. One, two, three turns. Either way we go. Must restore order. Well, I need the income, so three turns it is. You, I can w deal without the income of for now. We need to get these areas under control before we start pushing beyond them, I think. Hmm. I think they just colonized Hualodol. I think that's a Ratman city now. Alright, Retainer of Power. The Seneschal of the Court controls the flow of information to and from the Phoenix King. He is, therefore, an important figure with great power. It is discovered that the Seneschal has been choosing which information reaches the court in order to maintain his power and reduce that of others. It is a shrewd tactic, but courtiers are only as smart at the se as the secrets they hide. Once exposed, they are powerless. Dismiss him. We get a lot of influence, but a lot of negative public order. Pay him off. S mm, circumvent. We lose leadership. Ignore the power games. Income from trade agreements. I'm kind of looking circumvent. We can take a few turns with less leadership. Order must be maintained. Promenade. Okay, diplomacy. Anyone else we can trade with? No, no, and no. Good for us. Okay. Master of the White Tower. The people are resting. Hmm. Upgrade there, and that is most of our money. Go another turn or two, but if I don't see a battle looming on the horizon, I'm actually going to call it here. I was hoping we could end on a good fight, but I am just out of time. And honestly, if you're watching my campaign instead of just watching battles, you're here for the campaign rather than just the battles. So I really appreciate that. That is how I watch these kind of campaigns, too. I don't just want the battles, I want to see what somebody's doing at the strategic level, and how that translates into their battles, but, uh, there's only so much time that we have. <laughs> Alright, give it a turn, or a few turns of, uh, Teclis in the Great Turtle Isle, then we'll move to the, then we'll be heading back to the Forbidden Jungle, and you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna waste a turn or two hoping for a battle. I'm just going to call it here. So, sorry we aren't ending on a crazy victorious note, but I'm out of time for the day. It's been exhausting. I, uh, I will probably be taking tomorrow night off. I have been putting out at least a video a day for pretty much the last week straight, and I need a break. But I will be back over the weekend, you have my word! So, I hope you've enjoyed watching me continue my new game as Techless of the High Elves. If so, feel free to like and subscribe, or leave any thoughts in the comments below. And I will be back over the weekend. Hope to see you then. Until, until that time, this is Pally, signing off.